The world of Rick and Morty can get pretty out there. There are cyborg dogs and portal guns and all different kinds of extraterrestrials and space travel and multiverses. A new book dives deep into the science of Rick and Morty. So this book, The Science of Rick and Morty, was written by Matt Brady, a high school science teacher. And one of the things that he's done as a teacher is bring pop culture into the classroom to get kids excited about science. And that's kind of what led him to write this book. So he takes some of the most out there episodes of Rick and Morty and explains what the actual science is behind them. And there's actually quite a lot in the show that's grounded in science that you can see happening today. So one of the most important concepts in Rick and Morty is the idea of a multiverse, that there is not just one Earth, but there are actually infinite copies of Earth and infinite copies of all the people who live on Earth. And this is something that scientists have actually proposed and talked about and modeled, and it's something that is actually grounded in real science, even though it sounds like a completely far out science fiction concept. Rick and Morty also looks at stuff like cloning and, and at the possibility of controlling a cockroach by physically manipulating its brain. In the episode Pickle Rick, Rick has turned into a pickle. We don't go into the details of how that happens. Scientists haven't been able to figure out quite how to do that yet. But once he becomes a pickle, he rolls down into the subway and he has to somehow get himself out of there. And he does that by attracting a cockroach and then cracking open its head and manipulating its brain with his tongue. And he actually is able to control the roach's body with his tongue. And being able to control a roach by touching or changing the electrical impulses in its brain is something scientists have done. There are even kits that you can buy that can let you make your own little cybernetic roach that you can remotely control. But when I talked to Matt Brady, he pointed out that there was one thing that is kind of a basic sci-fi concept. You see it a lot in sci-fi that Rick and Morty don't touch at all for all the other different directions they go in. They don't do time travel. And even though there is a box in the garage uh, on the show that says time travel stuff. But, um, and Matt Brady said that, yeah, you know, they sort of keep showing this box, but they never actually do anything with it. But it'll be interesting to see if in the new season of the show, this is something that they plan on exploring. So even though time travel may not be a thing in Rick and Morty, yet at least, there's still plenty of interesting stuff there that's grounded in science that can draw people in and get them interested in finding out more about how these things really work. In fact, Matt Brady said that one of the things he likes to do to his physics students in high school is talk to them about Rick and Morty and introduce ideas and concepts like the multiverse and say, okay, I'm gonna describe some stuff to you now that is going to make you just wanna lie down on your back on the grass for a while, look up at the sky and just say, whoa. <laughs> Thank you.